morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. I was just grabbing some of my stuff because we're going on a trail run this morning. Yes, I'm super, super excited. I haven't trail ran in forever because it's been raining all the time in Florida, but you know what? It didn't rain yesterday, so we're gonna hope for some dry trails. <laughs> um, I'm just getting some hydration. I got my body glide on, I put some sunscreen on. I have my maintenance man coming this morning to take care of some bees that I have on my patio. So very, very thankful for him. But it's Saturday morning. I wanna take you guys on a weekend vlog. Uh, I got some fun plans this weekend. Last night was fun. I, we went over to my friend's house and we all like had a couple's night that everybody brought a drink and a like homemade, homemade cocktail and a um, appetizer, so. Jonathan and I brought rum mojitos, mango mojitos, and bruschetta. None of the appetizers fit the drinks, which was just very, very funny, but super good. Tuesday was also our like anniversary, so Jonathan bought me these beautiful flowers, and I'm just obsessed with this one right here. He's so cute and pretty. But we're going to Tampa tonight to have dinner and to celebrate and have some quality time. We actually spent our actual anniversary with his family because it was Tuesday. Um, and it was honestly pretty special to spend like that day with their, their, his family. Um, why, why is my camera just going down more? I don't know what's happening here. Like I was saying, it was great to spend the day actually with his family because on Tuesdays I work just like 10 minutes from their house. So I would, I'd drop him off at their house in the morning and then I, we go over there in the evening and have dinner with them. Um, and his parents were just so sweet about it. His mom made us like a special dinner and it was wonderful. But I'm excited to spend some quality time with him and celebrate just the two of us. So excited for that today. But let's go get my hydration and everything packed up for this trail run so we can have some fun this morning. A couple things that I'm bringing for my trail run today. Some scratch hydration. I'm basically out. But this is a hydration mix. Um, it has electrolytes and all good stuff to hydrate while you're working out. I absolutely love Scratch. I love the taste. It makes me feel great and hydrated during a workout. So it's just um, a hydration mix. I have an apple to eat on my way over to the trail. My water bottle with, there's also a goo in here. And of course, I have my over-the-ear headphones. You can't really see them in the sighting. Here we go. Um, that are strapped over my ear. So they're bone conduction, so they conduct to my bone instead of go inside my ear and um, trigger my hair cells. I absolutely love these when I'm working out, outside, going on a walk outside, uh, especially running. I just feel so much safer because I can still hear the outside world while I'm listening to my music. I would recommend to anyone who's doing like outside activities, going on walks, like and listening or gardening, like be aware of your surroundings and like always think about safety. So I'm a big fan of these so I can hear what's going on while I'm still working out and enjoying my podcast or my tunes. Uh, I think my maintenance man is here and I don't really want to talk to him. So I got to get out of my house. Um, let's go to the trail. We're out at the trail. I'm so excited. Okay, headphones, sunglasses, hat, sports bra. This is Lululemon. This is Lululemon. My shoes. I got my running hydration belt. I'm ready to go. I'm so excited. Every time I go out for a walk or for a run now, I'm thinking about my patient's husband who told me that people are putting air tags like in the back of their ponytail, like right here and sharing them with their location of their air tag with friends and family in case they ever get taken then like friends and family have their location and like if the abductors like found them and found their phone and got rid of their phone like odds are they're not going to get rid of their air tag because it's in the back of their ponytail so i don't know maybe i'll do that because i don't know i haven't had an issue with running and safety but i guess you never have an issue until it's an issue all right anyways Let's go on this run. Oh, this is so pretty.
But guys, I have to turn around. It's flooded. Ah. That's literally so sad. Oh my gosh, guys. Guys, eight miles, done, did it. I need to run because it is, what time is it? I have to run, that's funny, I just ran. It's 9.26 and I'm meeting friends at 10 o'clock at this awesome place in town. So I need to go, I don't even know if I'm gonna have time to shower because I'm like 20 minutes away from the uh, the bakery. So, yikes. But it felt really, really good. Um, you got a couple clips in. Trail running sometimes is just so therapeutic to me. It's just like relaxing, soaking in the beautifulness, being able to just not worry about like cars or roads or stopping, just worrying about snakes. So <laughs> I will take snakes sometimes. Actually, I don't know why I would ever say that. I literally hate snakes, so I don't think I would ever take a snake versus a stop sign or a red light. But you know, trail run's done. Also, check out uh, how gross my shoes are. I am gonna have to like wipe these down and throw them into uh, into the wash today because yikes. All right guys, so I showered. That was like the fastest shower I've ever taken and fastest hair washing in my life. Um, but I threw on this Lululemon top, shorts, and then I have my on clouds, just a little bakery fit, and then I'm gonna go run errands afterwards. I've been obsessed with these Fairlife Protein. So I'm gonna grab one of those so that if I get like a pastry, at least I'm getting some good protein in after my workout. Balance. Some hours have passed and I'm looking a little bit different than I did today. Jonathan and I are about to go out to dinner for our anniversary. So we're actually going to like a pretty casual ramen place in Tampa, but I still wanted to dress up a little bit for, you know, the occasion. I, this is my first attempt of a slick back pony. The pony quickly <laughs> turned into a bun, but I have this cute little dress on, obviously my Garmin, and then my jewelry, this is, um, oh my gosh. If you haven't realized before this, I'm an idiot. The necklace is Kendra Scott. I just put on both of my white tennis shoes and I'm liking how casual it looks with tennis shoes. I really wanted to wear heels, but um, since this place is actually pretty casual, I was like, the tennis shoes kind of brings it down a little bit. So I think we're going with this fit for this evening. So I don't want to vlog like too much on our anniversary dinner. I really want to just like spend time with Jonathan and enjoy our time together. But I will show you guys probably like a couple clips of like what we eat for dinner, what we end up doing. There's this dessert place. <laughs> That I'm so excited to go to. I really, really, really wanted to go. There's this fancy like steak restaurant in Tampa, which we had, we were super fortunate to go with Jonathan's family uh, in December, but I wanted to go there tonight for the dessert room because they have a steak restaurant and then they also like have an upstairs dessert room. But I don't think that's in the card. So I was looking at other places to go eat for dessert. And there's this awesome, like super cool toffee ice cream place that like all the Sundays look absolutely delicious. So I'm hoping after ramen, we walk around if it's not still raining and then we grab some dessert. So I'll keep you guys posted on what we eat and what we get. But I just, I cannot believe that Jonathan and I have been dating for a year. I know you, none of you guys probably care, but we were actually friends for a very long time <laughs> before we started dating. And it's just been a wonderful transition of like from friendship for like four years to actually dating. And it's very special to be celebrating one year dating.
Good morning, guys, and hello from the uh, therapy office. Exciting stuff. I'm clearly at work, and as you can see, I'm not extremely motivated to be here this morning. <laughs> I only had one day off because I worked on Friday, and now it's Sunday. And I woke up this morning, and I drank my coffee on my couch, and all I wanted to do was sit there and spend my day reading on my couch and go to church. But here I am at work grinding it out we have a long chart review to do so i'm not super super excited about that i was really hoping that there would be like <laughs> two emails and then i could just go home but looks like i'm gonna be here for a good bit of today friends i am back from work this afternoon, I don't have anything too crazy. A little bit of a Sunday reset, some would say. So behind me, all of my laundry needs to be put away. I typically hang out most of my laundry. Um, I will dry things like towels, but I try to like air dry as much as possible just because it's better for the fabric. So I have to put laundry away. I have a small little bike workout I'm gonna do and then probably going to walk. And I'm reading a really good book right now. It's called When Life Gives You Lululemon. Um, so I wanted to spend some time reading that because I haven't really done that this weekend. So those are the afternoon plans. Work went well today. I just, like I said, it was not really motivated. I am on like a Sunday through Thursday schedule, but I had low hours this week. So I ended up still working on Friday at a different hospital to help pick up on hours. Um, and so just having one day off was just not enough for me to feel recharged and refreshed before going into the work week. So, I don't know. Let's hope that this week is a little bit more stable with work and hours because I really, really, really do need two days off and I just don't feel like recovered and excited about going to work when my work week, my weekend was cut a little bit short. guys I'm clearly snuggled up like a little bug in my blankie on my chair I am reading my oh god my book that I got I told you guys about earlier um, when life gives you lululemon it's a really good like funny easy read just like girls hanging out you know it's what the that the whole um whole book is kind of about so I've really enjoyed it I'm about like I don't know, only fourth and third into the book. So definitely have a lot more to uncover with that. I'm just going to sit here and enjoy that. Uh, you saw that I went biking and then I also um, went to the gym and just did like a quick 30 minute back upper body. Yeah, it was more of like an upper body workout. Um, but the sermon today was super good. You know, I think definitely it's hard too about Sundays. Like I said, working this week, only having one day off. But on top of that, missing that that time in worship with community and hearing sermon in person um, definitely isn't the same watching it online but I listened to that during my bike ride and I really really enjoyed just being reminded the whole sermon was about humility and pressing on the fact that humility is thinking about ourselves less instead of thinking about ourselves less of ourselves. So thinking about ourselves less rather than thinking less about ourselves. And that even if humility is not something that we are strong at, that God welcomes us 
to be humble and to be with him and to grow to be more humble um there was a great quote oh no where's my notes app hopefully it transferred over to my ipad oh god oh gosh all icloud no yeah I found my phone in my bedroom charging. One of the quotes that I wanted to share that Tim, our pastor, said is that, uh, so like I said, the sermon was on humility and he mentioned that uh, Jesus levered the things that we dread through humility so that we can receive the things that we pray for. So like Jesus paid the ultimate price. Jesus went through pain and through suffering so that when we pray for blessings and we pray for peace that we can experience that um, and he did that all through humility you know Jesus was the king is God um, if you believe the gospel and you believe the Bible that Jesus the Holy Spirit and God are three in one and that the man who shouldn't have deserved to go on the cross died for us and he did it with the utmost humility even though he's the one that deserves the least to be up there just very very beautiful and a great way to look at the gospel and a great way to think about our faith and humility so on that note i am going to end this vlog here because jonathan's coming over shortly and we're going to go on an evening walk and we are watching the bear um season two we watched season one it came out last last year and now season two is new so we've been cruising through that and so I just want to take the evening and just focus on quality time with him so I hope you enjoyed this little vlog thanks for coming along on this weekend journey with me <laughs> I uh, I think it's very funny when I show like my time off because it's it's still a lot of working out in training even though I'm technically not on a training plan right now but I hope you guys enjoyed it and Thank you so much for watching and supporting me.